Nearly a month now since that tragic shooting at the Allen Mall that took these eight lives from their families and from this entire community. Difficult to say the least. So look, look at those pictures. It is. And minute by minute, we're probably all thinking, how did the response play out at the Allen shooting? Been a lot of talk and a lot of wondering about that. Mm -hmm. And today we did receive a detailed look at the operation, how things unfolded. Our Ken Molestina to take you through that report. A new response analysis is giving us a documented view of how first responders rushed to save whoever they could after the gunfire at the Allen Premium Outlets. Because of how chaotic the scene was, uh, we had to do look at GPS logs, do interviews, look at our computer aided dispatch system to try to figure out when exactly everything happened. Allen's Fire Chief Jonathan Boyd called the event an unbelievable tragedy, one they had trained for but never hoped they'd have to respond to in real life. We started training for this back in 2018 and uh, joint training with the police department on active attack integrated response. The multi-page report logs every action taken from medical personnel on the scene, dispatches to transports and even rescues. The first dispatch went out at 3.37 that day and 12 minutes later the first patient was tended to according to the analysis. The report credits so-called rescue task forces for getting to as many people as they did. Essentially combining paramedics with police officers so that those can go into a, a warm or hot zone to provide patient care. Because uh, what we want to avoid is, you know, with, you know, delaying treatment because we're worried about another shooter. The report also acknowledges initially that it was believed there was a second shooter. We now know there wasn't. While the report offers a look at all that went right according to training, Chief Boyd says it also gives first responders an understanding of what else they need to be prepared for in the future. We hadn't trained for such a wide area before, so that was an adjustment. The team performed, you know, with bravery and with heroism. Uh, uh, you know, because they were going into what they thought was a pretty dangerous situation and there was no hesitation. I'm, I'm proud to be part of that team. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS News, Texas. One other note, it's been almost a full week now since the Allen Premium Outlets reopened. They do have added security. It was very visible, especially the first few days. Stores, though, are setting their own hours and some are still closed even today. They'll open basically when they're ready. Outlet management is planning to create a permanent memorial to honor the victims and the Allen community. Plans so far have not been announced, but they do say it will likely take place over the next few months to put it in place.